Alright guys, got an update. Finally got my uh, rest of my gauges in. So, that's a uh, boost. You can't see it. I'm blind. Pyrometer and uh, fuel pressure and then got a trans temp down here. So I'm going to show you how I hooked them up and wired them and everything uh, once we get stopped here. You can kind of see it. But uh, other updates, I had to get my transmission rebuilt because I was up in the mountains driving and um, it just started slipping like crazy. So I had to go get that rebuilt, which cost a decent amount of money. But got the upgrade parts, a shift kit, a boat torque converter, and all that stuff in there. So uh, temps I see on here usually cruising around. Uh, I'll get like. 150 on this gauge it's still warming up a little bit um, but on highway I get around 170 on the trench temp and then uh, pyrometer I get uh, speeding up I get around 700 on the acceleration and if I'm cruising at like 60 miles an hour I get about 600 and uh, I haven't tried wide open throttle yet because my transmission only has 200 miles on it, so I'm still breaking that in a little bit. Boost is normal. Um, I get, you know, 10 under medium acceleration, 10 pounds, and then under full acceleration, it's maxed out at 20 because I don't have chip or anything like that. And then fuel pressure, I've um, been getting 13.5 at idle uh, once it warms up, and then uh, fluctuates from there depending on how I'm driving. But uh, let me get pulled in here and I can show y'all what I did. Trans temp, I'll show y'all. I did the little adapter from Gino's garage where it just clips on to the uh, um, hotline coming out of the transmission. So that's what I did for that. It's easy and it works and it's fairly accurate the way where I put it and I'll show y'all where I ended up putting it. But um, there y'all can see them. So that's my setup. And these are EV gauges. Ice Pro EV gauges. Alright, for the boxes. <sighs> get under here. This is under the dash. There's a brake pedal. Straight up here. I attach this to the... Uh, that's the... The hood latch. Let's see, here's the hood latch. I need to pop. Hood latch bolt. I just pulled it out, and this is the uh, pyrometer box that I just mounted right there, and then all the wires come out of there and run through that hole up there, which is where most people run their stuff. Um, and then I'll show you all out there. Up there, y'all can see it. That box right there, mounted that piece of metal, is the uh, uh, trans temp box. So that's where that's at. And then the uh, I ran the ground wire in here where I already had a ground at, which is right there. So that's where the trans temp's grounded. And I'll go outside and show y'all where I mounted everything else. All right, under the hood. If y'all can see, right there where that red wire is coming out of, is where all the cables come out of. So they come out of there. Here's the uh, wire for the EGT. I tucked it in, goes up under here, zip tied it right there, drum tap, 1 8 MPT, all that fun stuff. So there's that. That wasn't as bad as I thought. That was the part I was most worried about. But that's that. Um, and then here's where I'll show y'all. It took me a while to find. That's a, the ground for the EGT right here. Just on the firewall. It took me a while to find a 12 volt source that was on with the ignition and off with it off. So these are the EGT wire and this is the red wire running to inside into the cab to the trans temp and I ran it over here and this 
there's a thick, let's see if you all can see this here, thick red wire right there. It's got a black lead in it, it looks like. Um, that's the wire I connected to. It's 12 volts when the uh, ignition is on, and when it's off, it's off, which took me a while to find. If you don't do this, which I had an issue with, I thought I had 12 volts, and I hooked up to a wire under the dash, and it ended up not working um, properly. So uh, the gauge would read one constant temperature all the time, and it was effed up. So that's what I did. I ran that wire, and then spliced these two together with this connection here. So that's both the EGT and the trans temp, which is all you need. And then the rest of the wiring for the lights, all of that went into here, the dimmer switch. So they all dim and everything. I don't know if you'll be able to see it with the daylight. Yeah, there you go. See, they all dim and everything with uh, the dimmer switch. So that's that set up, and I'm going to roll under and show you the trans temp real quick. Alright, here we are under the truck. Uh, that's the hotline, that's the connection. I just ran it over and zip tied it to my uh, fuel pump wiring harness on the side to get out of the way. And it goes right underneath that shift linkage so everything works perfect. So that's that. Hotline comes out right there in the transmission. If you can see that's the front part. So, alright guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to y'all later.